wanted to find out whether it was legal for EA to sell a broken game before some idiot went and tried and sue them. So I looked into it and it turns out that user agreement you made with EA before you used any of their products actually covers this. Literally stating, we do not guarantee that any EA service, content or entitlement will be available at all times, in all locations or at any given time or that we will continue to offer a particular EA service, content or entitlement for any particular length of time. So there you go, EA aren't actually in the legal wrong for selling games that don't work or having servers DDoSed. So if you're gonna sue a- <sighs> EA is officially the worst fucking game come. They knew that something like this would happen. They knew what they were doing and they did it. They legally did this so they couldn't get fucking done for it. People go on about Rockstar being the worst company, but you want to know recent what happened recently? Rockstar patched a god mode glitch. It was the one where you were permanently off the radar, permanently unragdollable, so you weren't able to get knocked over, and you were in god mode, so you couldn't die. That was patched, believe it or not. So the only god mode now is the pedo van got. So, for once, Rockstar actually did something. Which is insane, considering how their track record says that they don't give a fuck about their games. So, in my opinion, Rockstar is no longer the worst company ever. It is now EA. You know there's that JoJo meme, you truly are the lowest scum in history. That used to be Rockstar, until recently. This happened on February 1st, this video. And now I'm starting to think that EA and Respawn are doing something a bit dodgy called insurance fraud or something along those lines. Basically, they get somebody to constantly destroy something and they get money for it, which is illegal as fuck. I'm not saying what I'm not saying that what I just said is true. I'm just saying it looks like it because the, the whoever is doing this to the servers of Titanfall 2. Why? You could do you could fucking do it steal the government's money and yet you target a game. You know what? Tell you what. How about you target fucking EA and Respawn's bank accounts? You could do something about that, but you are doing nothing. Anyone who's known me for any length of time will know that Timefall 2 has a deep meaning to me. And the fact that Respawn, and the fact that EA have purposely put this in terms and, agree terms and agreements pisses me off. Because they knew that somehow this would happen in the future. And they legally cannot get done for this because it's in the terms of... They can continue to sell... Titanfall 2, which is unplayable on multiplayer, continuously, and they will get not get done for it. At all. Ugh. This is just, this is just scummy. As long as EA get their pockets filled with cash, they don't care. This is horrible. Most game companies nowadays do not give a fuck. They just want 10 digits in their bank account and they'll be fine. <sighs> yeah. I just wanted to let you guys know that there is no chance in hell that you can sue EA and re EA. You must probably sue Respawn, but who knows? Maybe they have some sort of fucking thing where you can't sue them. It's just Yes, I heard the t tragedy of Titanfall 2. I'm pretty sure everyone has. But yeah. Just wanted you guys to catch up on the day-to-day -day life of being not able to play Titanfall 2. However, on PC it's up playable because somebody did that on a Discord server and... <sighs> PC players, if you're watching this... Please enjoy Titanfall 2 for the us console players. Because you are, you are 
lucky 